HackMS is focused on coming up with technological solutions for people living with MS to manage stress. This whole idea of stress management for people with MS is a really important issue, um, so we're really glad to have the focus on that in this particular hackathon. Something like this, the idea of making life better, it's a noble cause, it's, you know, um, call it whatever you will, but th I think that's a better motivator. At the end of the day, what we're hoping for is that the hackers come up with an idea, a technological solution that's simple, that resonates with people living with MS, and basically can help them manage the stress that they experience each and every day. So we only have 48 hours to come up with a solution, which is really challenging when it comes to software development. Pressure is an incentive for innovation, and I really feel that that can lead to a solution that we can iterate on in the future, but it can really give you the core of what's going to be the ultimate solution for your problem that you're addressing. Biogen has done three hackathons internally where we've gotten our internal people to uh, sit around a table and innovate together and play with technology. This is the first one where we partnered with coders and hackers in the external community. I do have a, a friend whose wife has MS, but I don't, don't know a lot about it. It was really inspiring to see the, the two speakers who actually have been dealing with MS. It really gave me a true idea of what they're going through, their experiences, and it really eliminated a lot of the crazy ideas that we have had before because reading Wikipedia doesn't give us the true sense of what this really is. Ultimately, it's all about the patient, right? So what I'm hoping to see is something that will truly deliver an unmet need for the patient. Some of the biggest, most disruptive innovations and game changers in a given field really come from people outside of that field. And so I think that what's really great about this, and I think what can potentially come out of it, is some really unique and novel insights that nobody within the field has really thought about. I, I decided to tackle this challenge with virtual reality. We're hoping that one of us be able to type just by using our eyes. I have been working on building sensors that can measure balance, their movement, their, how, how, how tired they are, and uh, what kind of patterns in the day uh, proceed to stress episodes. I just made uh, an app that had everything in it that I needed. It's about 10:15 uh, a.m. right now on Sunday, so we are putting the final touches on what we're trying to put together. Coming in today, we had only around two to three hours of sleep, but it was still a lot of energy, so I, I was riding that. But the hackers right now are about 45 minutes away from getting ready to give their presentations of what they've built this whole weekend. First and foremost, I gotta tell you, you did not make it easy for us as judges. The winner is Stay Calm. I, I can't even begin to describe it. It's just so incredible, and I feel like I did this for the whole MS community. It doesn't feel real yet. We won $20,000. <laughs>